Legend Total War here, and today we've got a rating your doomstack video. I guess we could call it that, but it really is rating one of the most inefficient armies you could possibly make in this game. So what he's done is he's put 16 master engineers into a dwarf army to boost three thunderers. And he's boosted them to such ridiculous degrees that the game actually sort of breaks down to a point. So the bonuses that, that master engineers provide are, are this. You get extra ammunition, that that stacks, you can do that as many times as you want, that extra 101 ammunition, that will apply. Um, they get 10% range, but only need one of them for that, so their range will go up to about 160. Um, you can increase their missile strength, so the actual damage per shot, you can increase that infinitely. Um, the They also reduce the reload time. Now, this is where things start to break down. Now, the reload time says it can't go down any further than two seconds, right? But, due to the way that their animations work, is that there's no actual way to get their reload time to two seconds. And it's going to vary from unit to unit, but on average, most of these units will reload at about once every four seconds. So, that goes to waste. But, in the loadout here, it actually thinks that's being applied. And then the final thing that's happened here, which is really, really stupid, is the speed of 97 because each of these here are able to increase the speed of missile units by 9% and it stacks but the problem is is that every single unit in this game has a cap to how fast they can move and on the stat screen here that cap is not reached because this just reads from a, like a, a spreadsheet right but when it actually comes down to applying the movement on these units their physical bodies literally can't move that fast so what ends up happening is the game is thinking right now oh my god look how fast these thunderers are and it's giving them a whole bunch of balance of power but then you go into the battle and it's like oh my god look how fast they are but then they can't actually physically move that fast and so you're being rated higher than what you should have so what he's created here is essentially an auto resolve army where you've artificially we've boosted the stats to such a degree where you can't actually utilize it on the battlefield but the auto resolve thinks you can um but we'll still fight the battle obviously but i just want to want to point that out that this army is very very silly and uh let's show does show how much. Okay, so we've got uh, essentially three full stacks to deal with here. A lot of fast units. Now, I don't think any of their units are technically faster than our Thunderers, but I think that their speed is probably going to be more along the lines of 40, not 97. So, for example, a Dire Wolf. Like, Dire Wolves have a speed of about 95. There is no way in hell that those Thunderers can run as fast as a Dire Wolf. Their models, their tiny little legs cannot carry them that fast. Now, when it comes down to boosting Thunderers by this much, like, I'm all for boosting them, but there gets to a point where your return on your investment gets diminishing returns, and I find that's at around 5 or 6. After 5 or 6, the more engineers that you put in, the less you're going to get out of each one. So when you put in 16, I think he's wasted a lot of resources here, because it's very difficult to get a ma like more Master Engineers in the first place, and this is obviously a super late campaign, so this isn't something that'd be like, oh yeah, you should definitely build these sort of armies in your in your campaigns, because you're just, you're just not going to be able to. Dwarves grow really, really slow, so getting tier 5 settlements is very difficult. Not really difficult, but time consuming. You'll be done with your campaign before this point. Alright. So... These guys here have horrendous amounts of missile damage. Um, but they're not as fast as what they're made out to be. And we're getting attacked from all sides. So we kind of need to have these guys here tank them. They've all got Iron Warden tankards. And uh, we'll just uh, see how it goes. Protect the gunners. Also got you. And best keep these guys in sort of like a square formation. That means it's easier for them to turn around wherever needed. And I'll spread them out a little bit. Okay. But yeah, if we were to see how fast they actually run. Like, it's fast. It's fast. Okay, now these guys here have a speed of 39. Who runs faster? Okay, so his speed is 39. That speed is 97. Do you think that that is 97? Like, yes, he's definitely faster than this dude. I'd say his speed's probably more along the line of 45. Okay? So, there is... That's about the speed of... Like, 
See, they could sometimes, they do like tiny little short bursts at like 97 speed. See, look, look at that. But they can't. This is interesting. They could sometimes move at 97. Sometimes. They're doing like tiny little bursts every now and again. But yeah, that speed there is about 45. Too bad we don't have a way to check how fast they're actually moving. But have them consistently running at 97? No. No, not happening. So yeah, that, that's definitely not 97. But yeah, I guess they can, every now and again, just get a tiny little little burst of it. But that's not going to outrun any, any cavalry unit. That's not going to work. So now let's see how well it actually performs. Like, Order Resolve said that we would absolutely destroy them. Let's see how it goes manually. Because I think that's the main, like, gimmick of this army here. Look how fast my handgunners are. And if they did actually move at 97 speed, that's that would be really good. But you just can't get them to do that. Because, yeah, like, missile units, like, longer range missile units that have a lot of speed, you could just infinitely run away from the enemy and just keep shooting. Especially if you've got so much ammo. But, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Definitely want to get rid of any of their high damage units. Can increase their armor piercing missile damage a little bit further. Give them a bit of a. It's not going to increase their reload time, but it might uh, increase their accuracy a little bit. Some runes of wrath and ruin if anyone's coming in a bit too hard and fast. It's okay, they're just fighting him, that's totally fine. Yeah, just keep them away from the Thunderers. All of our strength lies in them. So yeah, I'd say they move about the speed of Crypt Ghouls. And they're doing about the same sort of damage as, like, really beefed up Gisales. I think they've all got Iron Warden tankers as well, which is definitely really good. This is not an early game army. So far, so good. It's good they're coming at us in waves as well. It makes it really easy. If I was the AI, what I would do is, you know, get all of my troops in position at their maximum range, just, just outside of reach, and then just rush in and go and kill the uh, the ha uh, the Thunderers. That's what I'd do. And I reckon that'd make it an easy win. And then just basically snipe each one, one at a time, of the Engineers. So yeah, if you were going to do this, I'd recommend six Master Engineers. Not, not 16. That's just ridiculous. Got Krell up in here. Yes. Not for much longer. Nothing can stop us. This guy here doesn't have an. All oh, right, he can't get it while wavering. He needs to needs to rally. Right there we go. It's activating now. All right, let's get rid of Heinrich Kemmler there. Oh, definitely want to get rid of that. Oh, 
Okay, Heinrich Kemmler is about to die. Okay, need to bring in some of these other guys and withdraw them so they can have a bit of a rest. Yeah, you come over here, just have a bit of a rest. Ooh, Vargulf. Get rid of that. A lot of Vargulfs. This guy here doesn't have one. Should probably pull him back. Overall though, I think this is going pretty well. Yeah, just keep the damaged ones out so they can regenerate and uh, keep relatively fresh ones in here. We've got some reserves if needed. Yeah, it's actually working out pretty well. I still think it's a really stupid army though. That one back, you move up. These guys here can stay there a little bit longer. Because, yeah, what you could do, let's just say, hypothetical, we take away three of the master engineers. Like, there's three engineers over here just doing nothing, and we had three more gunners. Dead would have a little bit less ammo, a little bit more, less uh, missile strength. Same reload time, but would be doing more DPS right now. And that way you could put your uh, your engineers elsewhere in other armies. Right, you're up now. Oh, we took some casualties. Yo, I actually reckon it was friendly fire. Because uh, it doesn't look like any... Ah, oh, yeah, see, that one got close, and I think these might have clipped us on the side here. That's it, just don't let them pass. These are particularly good at getting rid of heroes, that's for sure. And there we go. So yeah, it's a strong army, but it's like ridiculously expensive in terms of not necessarily money, but hero capacity. And I just think it's a, a, a giant waste. Um, <laughs> it's just it's just silly. And like, like I said, a lot of these bonuses just go to waste. Like the whole point of this is being like, that was, that was one of the things that he sent it in to me. Like, look, I've got Thunderers at 97 speed. No, you don't. You have Thunderers at, like, 45 speed that are able to do the occasional burst at 97 speed. So I'll, let's just say I'll give you give you speed at, like, 48, okay? But then they don't move at 97 speed. If you could find a way to bypass that and get these Thunderers to actually run at the speed of Direwolves, that would be very impressive. Um, but, yeah, look, we don't, we don't need to really go over the stats. Oh, uh, hang on, let me just, let me go to work. It's another one of these fucking turn 500 campaigns. I am the High King. 
don't think he needs to stay far back. So let's just get get to where the army is and have a look at it, and I'll explain what's going wrong. It turns this campaign into a mess to make these ridiculous armies. Come on. See, that's the thing, the thing about Doomstack, right? I mean, if you want to make a Doomstack and spend 500 turns making it, just so that you can make this really silly army, that's totally fine. But in terms of practicality in the campaign, like, any camp, any Doomstack that takes you 200 turns to build is not going to ever be given a high score. Even, like, uh, a pompous spam stack, that can be built, like, with the Lizardmen, that could be built well within 200 turns. Like, well within it. Um... My god. You know, a lot of Doomstacks in this game can be developed before turn 100. There is no way you're going to build this within, like, a hundred turns. This is not gonna happen. Jesus Christ. This might be the worst end turn I've ever seen. <laughs> Whatever, who cares. Okay, so it looks like it was this guy here. Alright, so... I think the Rune Lawn was a good choice, because of the, the buffs and, and uh, the... Rune of Wrath and Ruin's actually very good for missile units. But yeah, just going over all of these things here, and for you to know what stacks and what doesn't stack, okay? Standard, uh, standardized firing drill, reload time reduction by 8% for all missile units. There is a, once once you've reduced it to about four uh, one shot every four seconds, you should stop at that point, because what you're gonna do there is create an army that the auto resolve thinks stronger than it actually is, and so you might get a bit overconfident. Sometimes it's actually better to create uh, doom stacks that are weaker than what they actually appear um, in the auto resolve, so the enemy is more enticed to attack you and make just terrible effort at it. Whereas if you give yourself like really strong armies in auto resolve, if you go up into a battle where the auto resolve is like, well, it's about 50 50 and you have to fight it manually, you are probably going to fail. So be careful about reload time reduction. Ammunition's fine, but just got to keep in mind with ammunition. Um, that's really for long winded battles. Having like a thousand shots on a unit is. is kind of pointless but most ammunition most units in this game have around like 20 to 30 shots getting that to about 40 to 50 really helps them to deal with multiple armies but if you've got like like a hundred shots you need a really long battle to even make use of it so what's going to happen here is um if you've got a hundred shots in every single battle, there'll be 40 shots that just never get used. Now, that will add to your balance of power, so I guess it's okay in that case, but it does kind of go to waste from a practical point of view. Uh, triangulation. This is one thing here that never goes to waste, because every single shot, and every time that's boosted on, is going to be affected by triangulation. So that's probably one of the better boosts if you're going to go with Master Engineer. Uh, let's see here. That, that's, uh, that goes to waste pretty much. Uh, in, or, or straight away. Uh, this one here, you only get use of that once because it applies an ability. Um, it can't be applied to any unit more than once. Uh, that's only useful for artillery, but that can only be used more um, once. And then there's Sapper. Oh, sorry, not 9%. I was wrong. It's 15% for all missile units. Sorry, I was wrong about that. Yeah, so that's about how we got it up to... Uh, man, 16 times 15. I don't even know what that is. It's a lot. But... Yeah, their base speed is is probably around, what, 26, maybe 28. Um, it's like three to 400% faster, but they, they can't actually move that fast. So it'd be interesting to see if that worked. Hang on, is that for missile infantry units or is that, oh, wrong one. Or does that say missile units? For all missile units. I wonder if you had a gyrocopter. Hang on, let me just check here. Do you have the ability to recruit them? I just want to check. No. No, there's no... Oh, there's the Gyro Bomber, but I have to get into a friendly territory. I'll just see if it's available here. Just curious to see what the Gyro Bomber would would say. Um, like I said, he doesn't need the save file back. Where is it? You must already have it somewhere else. But we can still check to see what its stats will say, if I could just find it. 
God, he loves his master engineers. There it is. So I won't be able to actually recruit it, but I can look at its stats from here. 306 speed. It. I don't think... I don't, I've never seen anything with that kind of speed before, but I don't think it would actually be able to move that fast. Like, that speed would... Like, if you had a, a Phoenix and that Gyro Bomber moving from one end of the map to the other, the Gyro Bomber, if it actually moved that speed, would be able to move to the other end of the map, back again, and back to the other end of the map before, before the Phoenix made essentially one lap of it. That's how fast it would actually move. I don't think it would do that. I think it'd be more likely that it's speed to be around 140 to 150. But yeah, that's uh, that's interesting there. Anyway, that's the end of this one. I don't recommend making this army. So in terms of a score, I'm actually going to give it a 2 out of 10. Just because it's really inefficient. Um, it was effect Like, we won that battle, but it was vampire accounts. Vampire accounts in the late game, kind of, kind of a bit of a joke. So, um, you know, if you put that much effort in, but... but Put it in properly i think you could get so much more out of it it's just, just so much waste with these uh, master engineers so i'm only going to give it two out of ten very much not recommended that you build this except if you just want to have a bit of a laugh that's the only time i would actually recommend doing it so those two points are just for lol factors anyway that's the end of this one hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something uh don't stack too many master engineers unless you're just really goofing around play whoever you want but this is not effective uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time fuckers bye